You can still get him to spoil you without asking him to spoil you and still stay in your feminine energy. Okay, so this, this woman's about to give a masterclass to women on how to get guys to get them like expensive things or spoil them for their birthdays, right? And I want you to see this because again, you're gonna, there's gonna be a point in your life where you come across a woman that is using these strategies and you're not gonna feel as though it's a strategy. You're gonna feel as though it's just her just saying nice, kind, sweet words to you and it's making you feel a certain way to where you wanna do these things and it's all a strategy on her part. Let's get into it. Let me give you an example. Let's say it's your birthday, or maybe you can use this right before Christmas. What you don't want to do is wait until the event has happened and then leave yourself with room to be disappointed. Men and not mind readers, so do not leave it to chance. So what she's saying is, hey girls, what you don't want to do is wait until after this stuff happens and then say, I can't believe you didn't do this thing for my birthday or holiday. Wah, I'm so sad and mad at you. Because she recognizes that that is nagging and nagging is never a good strategy for women to have. So what she's gonna propose now is an alternative strategy that makes you the guy feel like you don't wanna disappoint her. And so now in order to not have that happen, you gotta do the thing that she wants you to do in the first place. It's very covert, so pay attention. Not every man can be trusted to get it right. That's why you are going to thank him in advance. You wanna do this in a very casual way. So maybe you're cooking a meal in the kitchen, or maybe you're in the shower before you go to bed while he's brushing his teeth. And you'll say, baby, I just want to thank you in advance. I just know you are going to make my birthday so special and so memorable. You just know how to treat a woman. It's probably because your parents did such a good job raising you. I'm just so excited to see what you have planned for me and what you bought for me. My birthday is going to be a fairy tale and that is all down to you. And then give him a kiss and carry on with your day. Now, he's aware that there is a certain level of expectations of him for your birthday and if a man loves you he naturally wants to make you happy and he doesn't want to let you down now he's going to pull out all of the stops to make this day incredible and special for you so he can fulfill this expectation that you have of him you've also said this to him in a way which celebrates him and showers him with gratitude instead of a way which breaks him down and makes him feel incapable bravo Bravo. Now, I, I tell you guys, I'm not a fan of like women that are actually trying to be gold diggers or make their man spend more than he probably has out of guilt or shame and stuff like that, right? But I will say the strategy she's actually talking about, it it actually amazingly works. Because think about this, right? I, I literally she's telling you, hey, or she's telling women, hey, you know what? Give your guy praise. Say, you always do such great things for me. I can't wait to see what you have in store this year because you're just the most amazing person, whatever. She is teaching women to stroke our egos to get out of them what they want. So now you're going to, you're again, you're thinking women don't have strategy. Women are just naturally whatever. You're going to have a woman come to you and be like, oh, babe, I just, I saw this restaurant the other night. I thought it would be so great if me and you were able to go, but I, I know you can't afford it. So just, you know, but hopefully when they will get to go and then she's going to walk off and you're going to be thinking, oh man, she, I, I want to make that happen for her. Cause, oh, I got to, and Hey, I'm a guy that I've dated. I've been with women. I've been in long-term relationships. I, I, and it's funny. Cause like, I'll see women do things sometimes like either say things to me or do certain actions. And I'll think to myself, well played. Like you said the thing, we were in an argument and you said something in a way where you got your point across, you didn't devalue me, but it's making me want to change. Well played. Because I also respect women's strategy. I respect women that have the strategy of, I know I got to get a point across, or I know I want to do or say a thing, but I know that coming to you in a harsh way is going to be bad. So you know what? Let me get around your ego. And I'm just so analytical of stuff that when I've trained myself to know when that's happening and I respect it because I also know that even though I'm aware of all this stuff, I know that her coming straight to me and saying, how dare you not do this thing or X, Y, and Z is going to just lizard brain, make me feel a certain way, make me feel disrespected to where I don't want to talk to this person. And so women are already helping other women with how men are. Again, the guy in the comment said, good God, puke. If I heard that shabble from a woman, I literally laugh out loud. Again, hey, if, if that's something you would not quote unquote fall for, that's great. I'm just letting you know the game, which is like most men aren't studying this stuff. And so most men aren't aware that when women come to them and say stuff in this way, that that's their tactic and strategy 
to try to get something from you. And but but here's the thing too is that I don't want you to be completely dismissive of how women present things or do things because they again you got to understand women have been observing men for years and the one thing they know is that men don't like nagging and they don't like being complained to. The problem is in relationships, especially when you're first starting to get to know a woman, there are going to be things that you do unintentionally that are going to upset her. You're going to say a joke the wrong way. You're going to do an action where like maybe you like missed a specific date of something that you she thought would be really, really important. And at that point, she's got a decision to make. She needs to address it with you. But how does she do it? If she goes direct with the direct strategy, you're going to feel like you're getting attacked, that she doesn't appreciate your efforts and you're going to have hurt feelings or she can go with like do what this girl talked about. Babe, you know, I just think you do so much for me. And it's just, it's so great. I really appreciate all that you do for me. And I, I like the fact that we had this thing planned. Now I know you couldn't make it that day. So whatever, but I just, I just, you know, I really just wanted to spend that time with you. And I and I wish we could have gone through with a date. That's a better strategy than, oh, you forgot our date. How dare you? Blah, blah, blah. So that's why I say I respect the fact that women that are, are good women that have legitimate complaints about us or want things from us will have a strategy that speaks to our ego, much in the same way that we as men need to be learning how to approach women in a way that speaks to their ego. Us being just direct and straight to the point, and matter of fact, without adding any kind of uh, inflection in our tone that that shows them that we have like emotions behind what we're saying or we're being empathetic to them is gonna make them feel like we don't care at all. And so we as men have to also add to our strategy, how do I talk to women in their way that's gonna let them know that I do have feelings behind this thing, that I am thinking about them, that I'm thinking about the relationship as a whole. And both sexes could do a better job of that. So while I don't like her teaching this to women in a way to manipulate men out of resources, I do respect the part where she says, hey, Women, don't go to these guys and nag them or complain about the things you're not getting because that's going to make them feel a certain way and it's not going to be appreciative. So do it in this way instead in order to make a man, in order to uplift a man and make him feel good things about you. And all these strategies, by the way, can be used for bad or good. In this case, I'm not saying this is the best way to use a strategy. As I said in the beginning, some of the things that you're gonna hear in these videos, I don't necessarily agree with. But again, the point is that women are out there teaching strategies. So now you know, if a woman comes to you saying this stuff, you know, oh, this is her strategy to try to get something out of me. At that point, you can decide if you want to address it or not. I find since I know this stuff, for example, I would just be like, well, I already had a thing planned for birthday. So I'm going to stick to that plan. And if she doesn't like that plan, if she, if, if my plan was to take her to uh, say like Olive Garden and she's thinking I'm going to take her to some expensive steakhouse. And then she does this speech on me. And I'm like, I'm still taking her to Olive Garden and she gets mad at that. She can be mad. I just know that she is now not for me and I go to somebody else. OK, but either way, strategies are being taught here, guys. So it's just good for you as a guy to know examples of what those are. Use a bad boy, but you can't stop. Won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high.